it's always worth looking at these international matches. Yeah, and it, it will be interesting seeing how the players react because one or two new to the international scene, so nerves might play a part. Uh, you either settle quickly for your country or it takes a bit of time. We'll see what's the case here. And our game today, Senegal against Colombia. Well, this is a match-up between two international teams today. The disadvantage, Alan, is that they don't play together very often. The positive, of course, is they are the country's very best players. They are indeed, and we have got some quality players to enjoy out there today, but, uh, as you say, not all of them have played together too often, so there might be a slight lack of understanding at times. Check now on the Senegal team. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward, and uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. Starting 11 for Colombia. In goal, David Ospina. James Rodriguez starts, a midfielder in good form. In attack, Falcao starts, he's been in tremendous form recently. At last, after all the build-up, the game starts. India. Good interception. Yes. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Shot on. Now, can he take them on? Put them in front. And they've broken through here. Celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. We can't have scored many better than this. With the bendies imparted onto the ball. I'll give him credit. You can see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Dyer. James Rodriguez. Gay. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Excellent interception. That's gone out for a throw in. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Arias. Rodriguez. On the attack here. Time to get the ball in. Now Quadrado. Amis Rodriguez. Well, the cross not really producing, and the defender with time to clear. Mojica. Esquierdo. 
Lema. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Keeper goes with a fist hit. Now Sadio Mane. Niang. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Arias. Falcao. Now this looks promising. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Niang. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Mojica. Arias. He's coming forward with some danger. One in front, they would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front. And they really could have been. Yeah, might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead, wasn't it? I think uh, any football fan will say when the rain comes down like it's coming down now, it's going to add to the thrills, a few spills possibly. Well, it normally does, doesn't it? And I always used to like it because uh, it quite often, I mean, you've got a few more chances in the box with the uh, bounce of the ball and what have you. Space to cross the ball now. Done well to avoid the slide tackle. Looking for teammates in the middle. It could be a chance. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Arias. Ricardo. On to James Rodriguez. Arias. And now Quadrado. And here's the shot. He wasn't phased by facing a player who's already got the better of him in this game. Well, he's got his defenders out of jail there because they allowed the striker to, to run free. And that's half time. Well, the rain has lashed down all through half time. It is relentless. I just wonder how much more the pitch can take. It's good vision to be able to switch the play there. And they're going to have to restart with a throw. Oscar Maria. And that's one for the goalkeeper, I think. Played it back to him. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes, still 45 minutes to go, of course. The opposition defence have marshalled him expertly so far. No chances, really, for the lad. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Good, strong tackle. Guage. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Neatly intercepted. Rodriguez, a return ball. There's some potential in this move. Wage. Little piece of interplay between the two. Rodriguez. Oscar Maria. And here they are on the attack. Well, he makes that transition happen quickly. We could be in. Played in the clear. Goal kick here. Mojica. Strong 
and looking to play their way through now. There was danger, but he's cleared it. And the ball's gone out for a corner. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. And in it goes. Defended well. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Koulibaly being closed down. I like the look of this attack. A bit of space to go forward into with the ball. That's be a goal kick. Well, we've got a substitution now. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. He's tried that from long range. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Niang. Keita. And the build-up, they're nearly in. Added time coming up, there'll be two minutes of it. Keita. Well, the game has run its course here, and there's the final whistle. Well, as they say, a win is a win, Alan, even in a friendly like today. Winning is a wonderful habit, whether it's a friendly, cup, league, whatever. And they've done that here.